Welcome to Mishnah study Masechet Pesachim Perek Aleph Mishnah Zayin. Over here in this Mishnah, we're going to discuss burning impure teruma with pure teruma. And you let it go ahead and do so, and this really based off last Mishnah. And before we jump into it, remember last Mishnah we spoke about burning kadashim, right? Burning, you know, a uh, you know korban, right? That was that became tameh and elevating that status of tuma, right? So making it from a uh, shlishi to making it a uh, sheni. Right, or from making it a shilishi to making it a rishon. Now, Rabbi Meir and Rabbi Yosef in this Mishnah are going to really build off that Mishnah, and they're both going to agree that the korban that was that, was, that became tameh in last uh, last Mishnah that was became tameh through what we call mashkin tameim, right, through liquids. And the question is, do liquids make something tameh midiraita or dirabana? Now, according to the Bimeir, he says that um, liquids make something else tameh midera banan, and Rabbi Yosef will see holds that mashkin tameim make something else tameh midera Okay, that's going to be important for our Mishnah. Now, I'm going to be Meir midivrahem namanu from last Mishnah. We heard, we we learned, right? Rabbi Hananya and the whole machloket over there. Shosofim truma teura ima tameh ame pesach. That you go ahead, and if you have a truma that is pure. And you have Tiruma that's impure, you could burn them both together on Pesach. Okay, now even now during the burning, you're elevating the stat, you're making Tiruma that was Tahor, you're making it to this Torah, you're making it to Me'ah during the burning process. Even so, according to Bimir, he says you're allowed to go ahead and do that. Um, now, why does he why does he say that? Because last Mishnah, we said that you had something. According to Bimir, remember, mashkin liquids only make something tameh midra banan. So according to him, unless Mishnah, the meat itself was tameh only midra banan, midra that's considered tahor, and we are allowing you to go ahead and burn it, elevate elevate the status of that tumah. You're making it something that was tameh midra banan. It's not tameh midra and yeah, you're making it tameh midra So according to Bimir, you see, you're making something that was again tahor midra making it tameh midra So to over here, truma tameh. To Truma Torah, you can burn with Truma Tamea. Now, I'm going to go to Biose. No, that's that's not an inference. You can't you can't say that. Why? Because going to the Biose, that last Mishnah case, the 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 basar, the the the, the meat itself was Tamea Mideoraita. So you can't learn from there. Over there, that was a case where you're elevating the status of the Tuma because okay, it was a uh, Shilishi and now it's becoming a Sheni, but it was Tamea to start with. You can't now infer from here that you could burn, make a tiruma that's tehora and make it totally impure when it was never impure to start with. That you can't do, right? So that's what Rabbi says responses. Now, Moder Rabbi Eliezer, Rabbi Yoshua, they both agree to be the and Rabbi Yoshua. So that you burn them both themselves. Tiruma tehora by itself, tiruma tmea by themselves. What they really argue, what they argue on, if you had something that was up in the air, one shore, and you have something that was temea, could you burn that together? Should it be the Ezra or Merti Seraf Zola Atzma? You have to do them both separately. Then Yoshua in this case says you could burn them both together. Halacha is like a Biyose where we say that you're not allowed to burn Tirumat Tehora with temea. And that's Halacha, you have to burn them both separately. Um, but Mashkin temeim, right? Liquids, um, li you know, liquids. They only make something tameh midirabanan like Rabbi Meir.